my name is Aisa Tujalo and I am a storyteller. Uh, when I just started doing photography, I was not inspired to do it. Um, I just did it because I'd say there was an open spot for it and I had access to it. So it was a skill that wouldn't have been wasted if I learned it. So I went ahead with it. But um, from there on, I'd say what inspires me to do photography, it's how I am able to bring out my thoughts in pictures and how I'm able to impact people's lives and how I'm just generally able to tell stories and um, reflect the voices of people that are unable to speak sometimes or other times when people are unable to voice out what they feel and all of these things. So it's generally about storytelling for me. To be honest, it has impacted my life greatly. When I started photography in 2017, I went to conferences and there were only guys. And for me, it was about changing a narrative or it was about taking a step for other females that were coming after me. So it has impacted my life greatly in the sense that I'm able to be the voice or be a picture when people think about um, photography, especially female photography in the country. So for me, it has impacted my storytelling. It has impacted my confidence as a person. And people generally just come to me now. Um, I recently did the exhibition and a lot of women have opened up with on how that has impacted or how that has inspired them as women on to take up, especially embrace themselves as women. And generally just women walking up to me and telling me how passionate they were, they are of photography but never had the confidence to do it. So for me, it has impacted my life greatly as a person that people look up to when it comes to the area of art, generally, as a female. When I had the idea of the project back in 2018, I finally got to do it in 2019. And for me, the response from women was not um, progressive. It was not motivating for me. Because we, we know that women in the country, or women generally, are taught to just be behind the scenes, not not celebrate themselves or share what they're doing as, as human beings. So I, I reached out to a lot of people and a lot of them were telling me they were camera shy and all of these things. So, so for me, selecting the people that I worked with or that I exhibited were generally people that inspire me as a person. So I wanted to start with a sect of people to push forward the agenda. Because I feel like once people are able to see faces or attach faces to the project, they will be confident enough to come forward, which is the case right now because I have like a list of women that I'm supposed to do the shoot with because they saw the exhibition and they want to be a part of it. So generally it's just women that inspire me as a person and other women, the other people that were there were just people that came forward and I feel like those people, the people that were exhibited were meant to be celebrated as well, even though it's just five of them. So. Like I always say, it's just a build-up. This is the beginning of the project. We're going to take it further. It's going to go beyond the five women. Um, as much as I want it to, it's going to reach the shores, like the farthest places in the Gambia. So for me, it's generally just people that inspire me on a personal level and other women that were willing to do the project for me. So from here on, we're going to be, go beyond the five women and exhibit the great work of other women in the country. At first, I just thought it was just to take the camera and turn it on and shoot. But now, when you start taking people's money, for instance, you know there's so much more work needed. You know you have to do location scouting, you have to work on the lighting, you have to work on outfits, you have to work on concepts for the photo shoots. And then if you're doing a personal project, you have to work on storylines and all of these things. So it's not just, most of the times when people come to you, work for photography and then you ask them for money and they're like that's too expensive aren't you just supposed to pick the camera and shoot and then you list all of the things that you're supposed to do for them from concept to location to storyline and outfits and all of these things then they get to understand it's not just picking the camera to shoot when i just started people would offer me money for me to do shoots for them but as a female i felt like this was not my domain or I was not as talented as the guys that were there. So I'd always decline. I'd give it to somebody else and be there with him as the apprentice, even though the contract came through me. So I'd just say if it comes to you or embrace everything photography is and find your niche, because I feel like that's one of the problems 
photography is facing in the country. Everybody wants to do everything about photography. There are different genres or there are different areas of photography. So you just choose the one that you feel like or the one that resonates with you as a person and tells your story best and build on that. So learn, learn, learn and anytime you feel like it, just pick the camera and shoot. You shouldn't let your gender or all of these limitations define what you do with your art. So whether you're a female, you're a guy, irrespective, you have two hands so you can do it irrespective of what you